so in the CapCut first you have to add a background just like this and also the audio the part where you want to add these type of tones and also set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 and after that what you have to do you have to add any overlay if you want to add, add any cutout you can also add that but I am using a green screen animation over here then we will move its green screen by using the chrome key and setting the intensity and shadow according to the clip uh, now it depends on you how you want to like make clones you can make clones of some simple cutouts and you can also make clones of these type of green screen animation but this animation takes a little bit more complexity uh, you also have to like add some cc to it this is some custom cc according to the clips and then what you have to do you have to like come on this beat like the first beat right over here and over here you have to adjust your character at the part where you want it to be like over here it should be like in the center so we can get the zoom in on this character at the first now for the starting what you have to do you have to rotate it and drag it downside so we can get down to upward rotation movement okay so after that uh, what you have to do you have to make a copy of it like this and drag it just right under it and after dragging it right under you have to go on the same bit split it and delete this part and then you have to set the layer of it so for that uh, we have to go and click on this overlay go into the layer and set the layer to one okay after setting the layer to one go to the next beat like the second beat over here drag this character to the right side and shrink it like this so we can get this as a clone of it then make a copy of it drag it downside adjust it properly and after adjusting it you have to set its layer so we'll go into the layer set the layer to one then uh, you have to make sure that the layer are accurately arrange split this part and again recheck that the layer is on the one and after that go to the next beat and over here add a keyframe and shrink it and drag it to the right side like this so we can get our clone the behind then make a copy of it drag it downside after dragging it downside split it from the keyframe and delete this part then go to the ending and set the layer to one then go to the ending and reduce the scale and drag it to right side like this so we can get our clones like something like this so after that we have to add graphs so over here i'm using ease out graph make sure you use the similar but if you want to use a different type of graph you can also use that and after adding these graphs uh, what you have to do we have to like add effects on our clones which which like the block which shows like some blocks or something like that for that we will go into the video effects and over here we'll search blue mosaic effect and you can see over here we are getting this blue mosaic effect and add this effect adjust the duration of it and after adjusting the duration set the object to the overlay so which will be our clone then set the filter to zero size and texture to 100 so we can get those lines on our character then make one more copy change the object of this to the next clone and one more copy change the object of this to the next clone and then adjust the duration of this effect according to the clip that we have in our background like the overlays we have so after adjusting these uh, we have to add uh, like uh, aura if you want to add it so for that we have to copy every single overlay and drag it downside like this one by one make copy drag it downside adjust it make a copy drag it downside adjust it one again one more copy drag it downside and then adjust it after adjusting this we have to set the layer of these clips so we can get this layer behind so the reason behind adjusting the layer is that that our clips should be at the behind so that we can give aura to them so the first one will be one the second overlay will be the two layer two third one will be layer three Go into the layer click on three and the last fourth one will be in the fourth okay so this will provide you a sequence of our clips then what you have to do you have to uh, go back to the video effects and over here we will add aura to it so for that i am using just simple basic aura which will be done by jvc effect so search jvc effect and add this jvc effect like this over here then set the color to zero intensity and filter to 100 then adjust it like this then set its object to the 
overlay that we have in the behind then make two copies so we have three jvcs on one single clip now make one more copy change the object of this make two copies of that now we have to make sure that we have three jvc effects on one overlay then uh, after like completing your uh, effects and setting the object to the clips uh, you have to check out your clips and if you are satisfied by them you can just export it and after exporting it you have one more thing to do so for that we'll bring back the exported video as you can see i have added the exported video again and the aspect ratio i'm using here is 3 by 4 you can use 9 by 16 if you want but i would recommend you should do 3 by 4 then go on to the first beat over here and what you have to do you have to zoom in like scale out the clip and make sure that your character is in the center so it depends on you which type of overlay or cutout are you using and where your cutout is then go to the starting rotate it a little bit on the right side then scale out and adjust it like this so we can get the zoom out with rotation effect so make sure you adjust it properly and check it out like this but i don't think this is good so i will just zoom in a little bit more then our clip will be ready so after make sure that the clips movements are according what you have imagined in your edit then go to the next beat and in the next beat you have to zoom in on the clone which is coming right behind of the main character like this and for the rest of the both clips you have to do the similar thing go to the next beat now on the next beat you have to zoom in on the next clone that is coming behind of another clone like this and then uh, after adjusting this there is one more clone which is at the ending so for the ending we will again zoom in on the last clone which is coming right at the end or right at the behind of it after that you can see that we are getting our movements throughout the keyframes then we will add graphs over here so again make sure that you use ease out graph now one more thing is that you should you, you might have like understand that the beats were similar when we are making the clip and then when we were adding the keyframes over here all the clips were similar okay so after this your video is completed and i hope you guys will try these type of clones into your edits and i hope you guys have learned something new till then we'll meet in the next video and peace out